No matter what type of trap defense you play in basketball, the basic concepts are the same. Navigate the ball handler to the sideline and double team the offensive player with the basketball. Protect the middle and cover the open space with the off ball defenders. In this video, I'll show you five game like and high intensity drills that perfectly convey these basic concepts. Let's get into it. The first drill is a one on one half court drill and is about protecting the middle of the court and navigating the ball handler to the sideline. We have one offensive player with a basketball standing at the midline out of bounds. One defender is facing the offensive player. There are two cones in the middle of the court. The offensive player has two primary goals. The first goal is to break through the middle by navigating between the cones to reach the other side of the court. Successfully accomplishing this earns them a point. The second goal is to score, with each successful finish resulting in another point towards their total score. The first player to reach 10 points is the winner. For the defender, it is crucial to closely guard the offensive player's first step. Allow your offense players only three seconds to break through the middle. Once the three seconds elapse, they can still earn a point through a successful finish, but no additional points are awarded. The next drill is a full court 1v2 drill and teaches how to double team the ball handler. We have one offensive player with a basketball standing at the baseline out of bounds. Two defenders facing the offensive player stand in a row on the court. The goal for the offensive player is to get to the basket at the other side of the floor and score. There are two additional rules to make it a little easier for the offensive player. First, the defenders can use their hands to guard the ball handler, but they are not allowed to touch the basketball. This also teaches perfectly not to reach in to steal the ball and make an unnecessary foul. Secondly, once the offensive player gets past the three-point line, the second defender leaves the court to give the ball handler a better opportunity to score and therefore a sense of achievement. Defenders should position themselves so that they navigate the ball handler to the sideline for a trap. The front defender protects the middle and the back defender is ready for the trap. We want to force the ball handler into an uncontrolled dribble. The nearer defender must be fast enough to stay on the ball handler's hip to get back in front and cut them off for the trap. The help defender must immediately chase and catch up from behind to set the trap. That's the ideal scenario for the defense. So the next drill not only teaches your players how to trap, but also how to pass out of a trap under pressure. We have three offensive players spread out around a circle and there are three defenders. The offensive players cannot leave their spots. The defense is allowed to move anywhere within the circle. The drill starts with the two nearest defenders trapping the ball. We always want to have two on-ball defenders. The third defender readjusts their position to be in the best possible spot to deflect or intercept passes. When the ball goes to player two, defender number two and number three trap the ball and defender one plays the passing lanes. Same applies when the ball goes to player three. Defender one and three trap the ball and defender two plays the passing lanes. The goal for the offense is to make 10 passes without a defender deflecting or intercepting a pass. Otherwise, we switch offense and defense. If the offense is successful, the defense does five push-ups. The next drill is one of my favorite drills. We'll split into three teams with three players each. Two teams will engage in a 3v3 matchup within the half court, while the third team waits on the opposite side of the floor. When the offense scores or defense gains possession of the ball, roles immediately reverse. 
The previous offense now transitions to defense and vice versa. The new defense is allowed to defend up to the midline. Once the offensive players cross the midline, the team that had been waiting on the other side is allowed to defend from the midline. This adds immense pressure on the offense, facing three defenders in the backcourt and three more in the frontcourt. If a team successfully steals the ball in the backcourt, they get the chance to attack the same basket again. Now, here's where the magic happens, the midline. It's a strategic hotspot for trapping the opposition. All six defenders can converge at this point, applying maximum pressure on the offense and increasing the chances of a turnover. Drill number five is a half-court game in which the defense is outnumbered by the offense. We have four offensive players stationed outside of the three-point line and three defensive players. To level the playing field and give the defense a fighting chance, we've added an additional rule to the game. Only the ball handler is allowed within the three-point line by penetrating to the basket. If the ball handler kicks the basketball out, they must step outside the three-point line and the next offensive player with the ball is allowed to enter. This scenario replicates the essence of trap defense, where the off-ball defenders often face a numerical disadvantage against the offense. As a result, the defensive players must constantly readjust their positioning to ensure they are in optimal spots for a quick closeout and interception of passes. One defender is assigned to guard the ball handler, while the remaining two players direct their attention to the offensive players positioned one pass away. When the ball goes from player one to player two, defender two closes out to stop a potential penetration or a shot, defender one moves closer to player four, and defender three fills the open space. As the ball moves around the court, the defenders must readjust their positions, ensuring they stop any potential penetration, while also effectively defending against easy passes and be ready to quickly close out on any offensive player who receives a pass. These were my five best drills to teach trap defense. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and check out my other videos with a lot more drills. See you next time.